to install a coil on the core assembly, you must first wrap fish paper around the center pole, as shown in this video. Fish paper is just basically a, a thick paper. Then, the coil washer, let's see what that looks like. It's made of cork, and it's about an eighth inch thick. It's of a hard material. That gets put on over the fish paper. Push it all the way down until it seats to the bottom of the core assembly. This is the core assembly. Once the coil washer is on, which is the core gasket, install the coil assembly. Now the coil assembly should slide on very easily and there should be a gap around the whole coil. Notice how you can move it a little bit back and forth. And the gap should be even. Center the coil. There should be an even gap here and an even gap here. Center the coil. The next step is to, first I want to show you the coil lug. This is the coil lug. This is the core lug. Notice the gap where my finger is at. You cannot just stick the hole through the hole and squeeze them together. You will break off the coil lug right here over a period of time running. You must fill this gap with washers as shown. Only put enough washers into the gap and just fill the gap. Let's check and see the gap. He has three washers on this side and there's still a slight gap right in this area. About a sixteenth inch gap. And that is fine as long as the majority of the gap is full. Now you will have to fold a washer underneath a lock washer and then the nut. This is done on both sides. On this side, the same procedure needs to be done. Notice the gap right here. This gap is quite a bit wider than the gap on the other side. This may take five washers. Five is too much. You can not put five in. Stick with four. You know there's still a little gap in this area right here where my finger is. That is all right. Stick the bolt through. Lap washer. Lock washer. And nut. Tiny will each pull up evenly, going back and forth until the coil is tight. The next procedure would be to make sure that the coil cable connections, notice this connection, it's completely insulated tape and it needs to be clamped in this area. Watch your hand, let's take a look. Let's shine your light right there. It needs to be a little clamp here, an insulated clamp, bonded into that hole. This will hold the coil cable in place without vibration. The ground strap also gets mounted to, there is a hole there that I don't know if you can see, use a brass screw to mount the ground panel. There is the hole. You can see it there. Once that's complete, you can reinstall the coil into the feeder. Adjust the air gap to about 80,000 to the air gap is located in this area. Let's go over here to take a look at the air gap. After the coil is installed, we can put a pair of feeler cages, you will see an air gap right here and right here. There's also one in the center, but it's a machine surface. We're only going to check the air gap here. The air gap should be right around 80 knobs, and we'll check it over here. The feeler cages should go in, in the air gap snug the whole way down. Snug up your four, four, four clamping bolts. The procedure is now complete. You can now run your unit.